Okay, so uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome back to another Photoshop video, actually. Um, I've been quite blind on my channel, so I've been looking at all the comments and everything, and like I've done in my channel update, my content is not changing, but going back to how it used to be. And the people are loving the Photoshop video, so that's what I'm going to stick to for now. Um, and yeah, people are just liking the Photoshop video. So today I am bringing you another Photoshop video, and this is how to make uh, a YouTube channel art. Now, there is so many different ways you can do this. I'm just going to show you a few basic ways and a few basic designs to get you started on YouTube and how to, just how to make them, because not many people actually know how to make a good one. Now these are just going to be basic, and I'm not going to use Cinema 4D, I'm not going to do all that graphic stuff. Okay, this is just basic. If you're new to Photoshop, you've got a new channel, you're just like, how do I make one? How do I make it stand out? So, the ones we're going to cover today are a gaming one and just a general vlog entertainer type uh, channel art. So, it makes your channel stand out, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you do like videos like this, Photoshop videos, please leave a like on the video. Let's get this to... Oh, let's go for a big one. Let's go for 50 likes, okay? I'm asking for 50 likes. That's the biggest one I've ever asked for. Because these are so successful, I thought, why not? So yeah. Um, I mean, my channel art is very, very basic. Just because I just toned it down a bit. I just like the simplicity that it has just with my name and my social media accounts. And I, I do like... Um, channel arts like that just because I don't know it just you know I don't need all those of pictures and blended pictures and all that kind of stuff so I just thought you know what I'm gonna keep it simple now if this video is also successful and we get 50 likes I will do a how to make a My phone's pinging hang on bloody group chats um, so yeah I'm not even straight in the camera I'm um, sorry if I look really tired, I have literally couldn't get to sleep last night, I got to sleep about half four, maybe even four, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, I do actually love doing Photoshop videos, I know some of my subscribers find it boring, but most of my subscribers are the people that subscribe because of Photoshop videos, and they're successful. So, if we get, if we do get 50 likes, um, please, um, if you do get 50 likes, I will make how to create like a profile picture on YouTube and make it stand out so people can actually like... I don't know, they'll look at your channel basically. I'm also going to throw in a few tips on how to gain subscribers as well while um, doing a YouTube channel art as well. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to go head down in the description and head to the Photoshop file that I've provided in the description, I said description twice, um, because that has all the guidelines and stuff on it and it saves you time. I've pretty much done the work for you to start you off on the size as you can see here. Um, I have got my Mac again with me. Don't have, still don't have a setup. Um, sorry about the lighting. It's on auto. I couldn't be bothered to set up manual. But um, yeah, so this is the layout that you need for a YouTube channel art. Now, if I just throw in a back, back uh, a black background here, just so I can quickly show you something. Uh, paint tool. Um, that's not that's not black, is it? That's not black. So pretty much um, this sort of rectangle here. This isn't the guideline you have like to put everything in now what I do is I go slightly over here like the whole thing is for different formats so if the whole thing is for TV then the next one down will be tablet iPad stuff like that next one down will be um, how you'll see on a laptop and then the next one down will be what you see on a phone now I I'm not really good at judging on this, but what I do, if you follow what I do, you'll get what I mean, okay? So you can have, you do have the freedom of going all the way out here. Let's get on with the video because I've talked too much. So yeah, pretty much, um, we're going to start with the gaming one. Um, I used to make gaming ones for people, but uh, I stopped that just because I stopped YouTube overall. So what we want to do, we want to name our channel. So. So this is how to make, obviously, a gaming one. I will show you how to do like a public blog person, a bit like mine, basically. Um, so yeah, obviously with Photoshop CC, you can turn on whether like it's in the center of the page. So as you can see, that's the center. I know it doesn't look center in the guidelines, but that is the center of the page. So we've got the title now. This is how I imagine my gaming one to be. So if you do various different games, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so I've got my channel up here. We've got our title here, directly in the middle. Um, so we wanna import our images. Um, 
See, this is where people get a little bit confused, and not necessarily where I get confused, but what I tend to do with my channel arts, I don't keep the image on, because not many people watch it on TV, so what I do is I make the images much smaller and keep them in that bar, as you can see here. So we'll start off with, keep all, put all these in. So we'll start off with, um, wait, Let's start off with GTA. Um, so, uh, we've got the GTA one, and now we just want to put the FIFA one in. And I'm just going to do this as fast as possible now, because, you know, I'm probably boring you. So, we'll do that. Um, just turn this. X will do fours up, so. Oh shit. And we'll chuck in Infinite Warfare. So, so we've got all our images in place, as you can see. Right, that's all our images in place. Don't need the Minecraft one anymore. So this is going to be like a cluster across the top with like it sort of getting separated. So the first thing we'll do is we will chop down each image. So we want the rubber tool. Make sure the uh, objects are objects, the images are rasterized, and we'll just get rid of what we want to keep and what we want to have. So, I'm making this diagonal line, so I'll just rub it out diagonally just so it makes it easier for me. Um, so, I think we should have it about there ish, yeah. So, that'll be one part. Um, then, we'll move on to the FIFA one. we want a new layer, drag it to the top, we're going to create white lines now. We want the opacity on 100, that would be helpful. We want a thick brush tool. And what we want to do is just make it a little bit smaller. Just kind of get a feel of where you want the line to be. So we'll think around there. So what I'll do, you can choose any type of lines you want. I'm just giving a basic one. Um, so we'll just do uh, white lines. And what you want to do, get the brush tool up, get whatever color you want, hold shift and then literally pull down. You've got yourself a straight line. That's pretty much it. Didn't even make a new layer, did I? New layer, sorry. Um, hold shift, pull down, and then you've got, straight, look, you've got yourself a straight line. Then we'll just move that into position like that um, so it just shows that we know we're separating oh we're separating the game to make it a little bit cool and yes I do know not everything is in proportion you know the images are different sizes but I'm just showing you you can go into more detail and do things like that I'm probably the worst YouTuber ever trying to like show you a tutorial not do it properly but I'm doing it properly, but just not <laughs> not the way it should be done, but it's just basic. So yeah, we'll just, just trim away here. It doesn't really matter about the top, I'll sort that out later. And we'll just trim away there and there. And to make it a little bit cooler, what we want to do is you want to go on the layer, and we want to, the line layer, and just go blending options. And we'll just stick a shadow on it, just to, you know, make it a little bit cooler. Um, you can add outer glow if you want, you can add inner shadow, um, but I'm just going to have a drop shadow for now. Okay, so that's that's one part of it done. Um, and then what we want to do is just control J and then copy that layer. And then we just want to drag it across here. And then we'll just adjust it to how we want it. So about there make it a little bit bigger I mean you can edit it different ways so you can have a line going that way actually I'll tell you what what we'll do 
This will make it a little bit cooler. We'll make it a few V lines in here. And we'll put we'll put in lines like this. Make it, you know, a little bit cooler because it looks a bit boring, doesn't it? So we'll we'll do this. We'll get the other layer. Just rotate oh, no, not rotate that way. Um, we want to get this one. And we want to just make it like that. Rasterize, yes please, thanks. Uh, so we'll just get rid of this bit, this stuff here. Um, get rid of the old Forza Ribbage, we don't need that anymore. I'm sorry I'm going back back to front, oh god this is all like messed up I know. So we've got Forza there. So that looks much better doesn't it, that looks much better. So we've got Forza, now we've got Advanced Warfare which we just don't really need to do much to. Um, so we'll just get rid of this. No, I messed up there. So yeah, I'll show you how to neaten up all the edges. Um, so pretty much, I need to re-put, I need to put the GTA one back in. I've really messed this tutorial up, but yeah. So Oh, so pretty much my camera just cut out then, I don't really know why, it's half an hour clip, so I think you can record up to, yeah, so where I was, was you can just drag them under layers, but I'd prefer to rub them out just in case, I mean it's not the best idea to do, but, uh, so yeah, what we're going to do, we're just going to change the background to white, because black is bugging me, so we'll just, what we want to do, is make a layer mask for each one of these. So we'll just click down here, layer mask, layer mask, layer mask, and layer mask. So we can just go through each one and just make it neat around the outside. So we'll just, this it gives it more of a blend, pretty much. So we'll just have to like touch up and just, you know, go through it and just try your best to make it look as good as possible. Don't forget I'm doing this quickly, I'm just literally making this up as I go. I've not planned this video but I thought I'd get it out there just to show you how to make a basic one. Um, right. We'll just make a layer mask on each of them as well. So we'll just go to this one next. Not that one. Um, so basically I'm just going to get this done really quickly, I'll fast forward this because there's just no point in me trying to do this slowly, so I'll just get this done. Okay, so pretty much this is what we've got so far. I've kneaded it up now. It looks okay, I guess. I mean, it's not the perfect one, but this is just, it, the tutorial is to show you the things you need to add in to make a good gaming one. I mean, it's not perfect. It's just giving you ideas and just showing you the, I can just giving you ideas how to do it. That's basically what I'm doing. So yeah, um, it looks okay now. Um, what we'll do is we'll drop in the title now. And don't forget the font, link in the description, choose whatever font you want, wherever you want. You you choose where you want it, okay? Um, so we'll have it we'll have it about there. We'll make a basic standout title. It does it's not really that much. We'll just go to oh, right click, blending options, two fingers two fingers on the mouse pad if you're Mac and click. Um, we'll go to blending options, drop a shadow in there. You could you've got so many different colours you could make this, honestly, like you could have outer glow, so we'll mess around with the glows. Um, that's not the glows, what am I doing? Um, so we'll just mess around with the glows. You can literally have anything, like, anything would go. Like, literally. I mean, it. don't get me wrong, I know it's not the best thing, okay? Like, I can make so much better if I put, you know, hours and hours of work in. Mine's very simple, I know. If you want to see an advanced one to make 3D text to make it look absolutely sick, go ahead, leave a comment. So pretty much that has been today's video. I've taught you how to make a basic YouTube channel art, whether it's gaming. I know I said I was going to do a vlog personal one, like a 
you know what I mean, like a vlogger background. But if you want to see that, I will leave that. I will make sure I will do that if we do get 50 likes. So this 50 likes will give you more videos. So don't forget, 50 likes equals a tutorial on how to do a, like a really advanced gaming one or a really cool one with Cinema 4D, stuff like that. Um, also, 50 likes will do a tutorial on how to make a little profile picture. 50 likes, this is not counting up loads of 50 likes, this is all to do with 50 likes. Um, I'll share to do like a another another genre of uh, channel art. So yeah, pretty much that's been the video. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it. I've got a headache now. Yeah, so I will see you in the next video.